Welcome to South Asia. This is J. Reddy, your facilitator for South Asia Maps, where we'll take you into the fascinating geography, culture, heritage of South Asia in the form of icons, images and maps. Today I am talk, going to talk about Indian geography, the historic Carnatic region. We are doing our wanderings in Dakkan, the southern part of Bharat, south of Vindhya mountains and Satpura ranges. We are peeping into certain districts, histo the historic Carnatic region we are overlaying with Madras Presidency Districts. The region is differentiated into three zones or divisions, regions by Kaveri River, Pennar River and Gundlakamma River. And we are going to talk about that in detail. This is the overall bird's eye view of the presentation. And I will explain these presentations, these parts, one by one and you will get a broad area and we will piece all the pieces of the puzzles together. <coughs> we will talk about how the name originated, that is Karnatic or Karnatak from the Kara, the black soil of South India. And we see how that term Carnatic eventually, eventually got propagated and spread through first by Islamic imperialism that dawned into Dakkan by the Tughlaq dynasty of Sours who established Bahamani dynasty first in Marathwada region, Devagiri Daulatabad, later moved to Bhima Valley at Gulbarga Kulbaragi district, eventually to Balgat region in Bidar later, and its five splinter states, among which Bijapur Sultanate, Golconda Sultanate, or Qutub Shahi Sultanate, Adil Shahi Sultanate, played a very important role in keeping this word afloat. Later, the with the onset of, onset of British imperialism from the fort to St. George, later called Madras, this word were further taken into circulation after misapplication for the local Muslim kingdom called Arkhat. Carnatic region historically has a highland zones and lowland zones called Balgat, Balagat and Payangat. This is historically related to Arkat Nawabi at Arkat and Palar River. Palar River north of Javadi mountains. The core Carnatic is Tanjavur Delta region at the far end of Kaveri River, the mouth of Kaveri. We talk about three rivers, the Kaveri River, the Pennar River and Gundlakamma River and their importance. This is the Carnatic region and I am showing here a part of Madras Presidency that survived some form or other in the middle of 1600s uh, to almost 1947 in various forms. After 1800, much enlarged Madras Presidency. Madras Presidency districts north, we take Gundlakamma River and Nellur district, Wangol district or Prakasham district, Guntur district and central Pennar River, south of it, uh, <coughs> uh, South of it, uh, Nellur district and uh, Arkat region, and south of Kaveri, Tanjavur district and Tiruchirapalli district, Madurai, Ramanadapuram, and Tirunalveli. 
and this is the overall birds eye view of what i am going to talk about today and after this presentation you will get a very broad picture of carnotic region and you will be able to articulate it very well for your audience and you will not be just regurgitating certain districts or names you will get a broad almost a 8 900 years of culture and heritage and important events and <coughs> dynasties that played a very important role in popularizing the name for that region we have here eastern gods compared to the western gods eastern gods towards the ganga saga that is bay of bengal they are not continuous mountains unlike western gods they start as offshoots from the nilgiris and go like that and carnatic region is essentially downstream of the eastern ghats eastern ghats that is carnatic region the name itself historically was called chola mandalam or chola great emperors cholas ruled that region round about 1000 ad raja raja chola rajendra cholas reign the empire prospered and reached its peak and they left this name chola mandalam much <coughs> broader area their empire and later when the british came in or later it was corrupted to kora mandalam or kora mandal region and when the british came and uh, they started their empire building from madras in south india the entire region is essentially a coastal region east of eastern ghats so the historical chola mandalam or kora mandalam kora mandal and coastal area and carnatic area they have something in common and they also have something in different there are various nuances there are there are various subtleties there are various commonalities and if you think little bit more but they can also be used more or less in a similar fashion here i am depicting three important rivers that flow into ganga sagar or bay of bengal the sacred kaveri river <coughs> that arises in the sahyadri mountains in the kud kodagu region or kurg region at a place called thala kaveri cuts through this plateau region at after biligiri rangan mountains at heggenakkal and damned at metur continues its journey at karur it starts descending into the plains and gives a vast delta the northern part of the river carries the name kolarun river but essentially is the kaveri river that eventually disappears into the various paddy lands of farms in the historic tanjavur region that is the region where nayaks of tanjavur offshoots of vijayanagara empire lived and they developed patronized a very great music tanjavur music or carnatic music among which the famous composer is tyagaraja as the islamic imperialism was set in dakkan this entire black cotton soil area karanadu karnataka local name was taken by the muslim rulers and they popularized it and it was mostly a plateau region elevated region it's called also balgat region called carnatic balgat carnatic after the collapse of vijayanagara empire at battle of thalli kota our battle of rakaski tangadgi on the don river a tributary of krishna river in the bijapura district in northern karnataka in 1565 the the bijapur adil shahi sultans and golconda kutub shahi sultans started salvaging <coughs> or gobbling the remnants of the much reduced powerless vijayanagara empire so they expanded east 
Finally, they reach the coastal area. When they reach the coastal plains, they called still the Carnatic region. They called Carnatic, Carnatic Payanga. After Mughal Badsha Alamgir conquered Bijapuri kingdom and Golconda kingdom by 1689 or so, then it is called Mughal Carnatic upland Balgat. At the same time, Sivaji also conquered lot of territories in the Arkat region like Gingi or Senji and Vellur and so on. So this region is called Maratha Carnatic and this region is called Mughal Carnatic. Previously it was called Bijapur Carnatic and this Carnatic. And offshoot of Shaji's branch, Vekoji or Venkoji, <coughs> who was living in Bangalore near the Kolar Plateau, also intervened in the internecine quarrels of Nayaks of Tanjavur after the death of Vijay Raghava Nayaka and gab, grabbed that kingdom. So that is Tanjavur, Tiruvarur, Pudukkottai, Mannargudi, Karakoyal and all those regions. And this region together with the Arkat region, Vellur and Gingi and so on is called so, Maratha Karnatic region. <coughs> so we have three rivers here, Kaveri river and Penna River. Penna River originates in the Kolar Plateau and it cuts the eastern Ghats, Nalamala Mountains and Velikonda Mountains, enters into the plains and joins Ganga Sagar, Bay of Bengal near Nello. This is the central region of Karnatic. It includes predominantly old, enlarged Nello district of Madras Presidency and North Arkat district of Madras Presidency, that is Vellur region, Thiru Annamalai region, the Polur, Chengam and so on. Then South Arkat region, <coughs> that is Villupuram, Kadalur and all those regions, Gingi and so on, Tindivanam and so on. And this is the Madras city, Chennapattam. And later British got the, from the Nawab of Arkad this territory called Chengalpattu, Kanchipuram, Madurantakam, Gummad Pandiswa. So essentially the Nellur district, North Arkad district, South Arkad district, Chengalpattu district are in the central Karnataka region. And <coughs> then we have a Kaveri region, south of Kaveri. In the, we have a Kanyakumari here. This is Tirunalveli district, the historic Tirunalveli, Tittukorin, and Radhapuram, Nanguneri, and Palayan Kottai, and Tenkashri, and those regions. This is Tirunalveli district of Madras Presidency, and this is the Madurai district of Madras Presidency, and the eastern part is Ramanadapuram district, and southern part is Virudunagar or Birudunagar area. This is historic Madurai district. And in the delta we have Tiruchirapalli and <coughs> Manaparai and Lalgudi and all those regions, Perambalur and so on. In the Tanjavur delta, Tiruvaruru, Karakal and Pudukkota and so on. South of Kaveri, including the Kaveri Delta, Tirunalveli, Madurai, Tiruchurapalli, Tanjavur is southern Carnatic region. The central Carnatic region is between Kaveri River and Penna River or Penna River or Pinakini River. That is Nellur district and Chengalpattu district, North Arkad district and South Arkad. A small portion of Carnatic also exists north of Penna River that is also Ongol Prakasham districts of modern Andhra Pradesh. Sometimes the term can be even extended up, this is the Gunlakamma River, up to the Krishna River mouth, so that is the Guntur Sarkar. <coughs> even though that is not, but for practical purpose Carnatic today, Carnatic historic region means south of Penna River where Carnatic Nawabs ruled. Carnatic Nawabs ruled originally from their capital at pa on the banks of Palar 
Arcot, a town called Arcot and Ranipet that is on the eastern side a few kilometers away from the historical capital of uh, Vijayanagara emperors, the last dynasty or fourth dynasty called Arayavidu dynasty or Arayavidu emperors. As the British controlled the Nawab of Arcot, they took this term and they called instead of Nawab of Arcot, Nawab of Karnatic and the region came to known as a Karnatic region. After the death of Muhammad Wallaza, the Nawab in 1796 and his son Umdatulamara, British East India Company leaders accused him co-opting or cooperating, aiding secretly Tipu Sultan, they asked him to hand over his territory, that is Karnatic Nawabi or Arkat Nawabi, and <coughs> he resisted and after the death, when the dispute came, one of the successor family or subordinate family or collateral family descendant, Azimul Dawla, Azamud Dawla, signed the Treaty of Arkad and hand over the entire Karnatic Nawabi to East India Company Bahadur. Then they constituted Madras Presidency. That constituted the Baramahal district, that is Coimbatore, uh, sorry, Coimbatore region, Baramahal, that is uh, Dharmapuri and Krishnagiri and Salem, Namakkal and so on. And seeded districts called Rayalasima, that is Karnul, Kadapa and Chittur, Anantapur and Bellari and so on. So, <coughs> that is in general about the Carnatic region. So, what did we discuss today? We discussed about the origin of the term Carnatic from the back, black soil used by the local people, Canadigas or Canaries, in the Deccan Plateau, Karnataka. Then, when the Muslim rulers invaded, they took the same term and used for their region as a Carnatic region because it is elevated, they attach the word Balgat, upland region or plateau region, a sort of mountainous region, meaning it is not plain. So it is called Karnatak Balgat region, which they ruled for many years. And after the collapse of uh, Vijayanagara Empire, they expanded to coastal region. The Qutub Shahi is from the north and Bijapuri Adil Shahi is from the east. And they found the coastal district rulers and grabbed their territories, annexed them. So they still use that term Karnatic, even though this is not Karnataka at all, to this region and <coughs> suffixed it with the Payangad, the plains. When the later British took over, they used the same term from the local Arkat Nabab called Karnatic. When the, during the Mughal time, that region was called Mughal Karnatic and this is called Maratha Karnatic. Sometimes this is Bijapuri Karnatic Balgat, Bijapuri Karnatic South. And <coughs> historically Karnatic means Tanjavur Delta, that's uh, original Chola Mandalam or Kora Mandal or coastal region, east side of eastern, eastern Ghats, mountainous regions. This is mostly like uh, less than 200, 100 meters below sea level. The plateau region is more than that. So this is the Poyang Ghat, this is Balagat. <coughs> Broadly speaking, three rivers are used as a general demarcation for this historic Carnatic region. They are Kaveri River, Pennar River and Gundlakamma River. Kaveri River we discussed coming from Tala Kaveri to Tanjavur. Southern portion is called Southern Carnatic. That constitutes the British Madras Presidency districts of Tirunalveli, Madurai, Ramanadapuram <coughs> districts. And <coughs> Delta districts of Tirushurapalli and Tanjavur because this is the Kolarun River, south of Chidambaram and near Sri Kasi, <coughs> Mailaduturai and so on. After between Kaveri River and Pennar River, which comes from the Kolar region, cuts through the eastern Ghats or Nalamarai mountain regions, 
Near Nellur, it joins the Ganga Sagar, Bay of Bengal, the Penna River, that is north of Pulikot region. This is called Central Carnatic region, that is South Arcot region, North Arcot region, Chengalpat region, Nellur, historic Nellur region. <coughs> and beyond north of Nellur, <coughs> Prakashan, Vongol districts and certain parts of Guntur district south of Gunlakamma river are also sometimes considered North Karnatic. But some people consider the effect of Karnatic peters down after Arkat region once you cross Pulikat lake. Essentially crossing the Pulikat lake means in the old historic Nawabi of Arkat we are entering from Tamil speaking zone south of Pulikat to Telugu speaking zone in the north of Pulikat, Nellur, <coughs> Praka, Ongol districts, and Guntur districts, and so on. <coughs> Generally, the upland region, the seeded districts like Kadapa, Karnul, Nellur, Anantapuram, and the historic Baramahal region, that is, <coughs> excuse me. Krishnagiri, Dharmapuri, Salem, Namakkal region, and lowland region, Kongunadu or Koyambattur and Tirupattur, and they are not considered as Carnatic regions. And the region beyond the Western Ghats are upland region. Essentially, it is a low lying region centered round the Tanjavur Delta, Tiruchirapalli, Tanjavur, Tiruvarur, Karaikal, <coughs> Mannargudi and Pudukkottai, Shivaganga, these regions and more or less spreading few hundred kilometers north and south. That is the Carnatic region, the center of the famous Carnatic music whose famous composer is Tyagaraja. Historically, it is a Chola Mandalam or Kora Mandal, coastal region districts of Tamil Nadu. That is, <coughs> in general, about the Indian geography, historic Carnatic region, distinguished by three different rivers, Kaveri, Pennar and Gunlakamma, and previously, I also shown in other aspects what is the difference between Karnatic, Karnataka, Mysore princely state and a Mysore state <coughs> that is Bombay Karnataka, Hyderabad Karnataka, princely state of Mysore and Canaries district, South Canara, South Canara and the state of Karnataka, province of Karnataka from the Arkat Nawabi centered on Pala River at Arkat Ranipe. So for more details just look into the other <coughs> miscellaneous playlist of that. So that is in general about the historic Carnatic region we talked about today during our wanderings in the Dakkan, Dakshina Bharat, South India, South of Satpura mountains and Vindhya Ranges and thank you for your consideration and subscriptions and in promoting our educational channel South Asia which brings a deeper understanding of the region's history, culture, heritage south of Karakoram mountains and north of Kanyakumari district. This is your facilitator, JRT. See you later in other presentation.